Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today I have a very short video for you. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could create a masking preset in Lightroom Classic. Before I begin though, I do want to mention very quickly that if you're interested in learning more about Lightroom Classic, head over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. There you'll find that I have an entire course on Lightroom Classic. Currently, the course has over 60 videos. I'm always adding more videos to it. As a matter of fact, next week I'll be adding two more videos. If you purchase the course, not only will you get all those videos, but you'll get PDF outlines for each of the videos and you'll get all of the files I use in the course. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to it and a discount code so you could save a few dollars on it. Now, back to our video and what we're going to be doing today. Uh, this is a photo of my middle son, Nick. And all I've, done, all I've done to it is I went to the basic tab and I just moved four sliders, highlight shadows, whites and blacks, and I used the remove tool and removed a couple pimples and some dry skin. So I want to do some masking to it. Specifically, I want to do something with his eyes. So I'm going to open up masking and we'll let it detect him. And once it detects him, I want to mask his irises. And I'll click on that, and now we'll come up, and I want to do the iris and pupil, and I'm going to click that, and we're going to click Create Mask. Now, you may or may not know that there is an actual masking preset for irises already in Lightroom Classic. If you go right here where it says Preset and click this drop-down, you can see towards the bottom there's something called Iris Enhance. And if I apply that, you can see how that enhanced his irises. There's before and there's after. Now I typically do use that preset, but what I found is I like to tweak it just a little bit. Uh, that preset adds some clarity and it adds some exposure. Usually that's okay, but what I also like to add is some texture uh, to the eye. So I'll add some texture and I'll go down to detail and I'll add some sharpening as well. So that's what I usually like to do to the irises of people that I photograph. Well, it's no big deal, I guess. I could come in here and I could apply that preset and then I could move those two sliders. But if I just create my own preset, I'll save a little bit of time. And that little bit of time will add up if you're editing an entire wedding or something like that. So now that I have this tweaked the way I want it, I'll create my masking preset. To do that, go back up to where it says preset click that drop down and then you'll notice at the bottom there's an option save current settings as new preset we'll go to that and then i'm going to just give it a name you could call it anything you you want my iris preset i'll call it and i'll click create now that preset is there now i'm just going to delete all the masks so we're right back where we started i'm going to click on him again i'm going to again go to iris and pupil I'll create the mask. Now, if I go down to that drop down, you'll notice that down there in that same area where it said iris preset, you can see it says my iris preset. And when I apply it, bam, there is my adjustment. It has sharpness added and it has texture added as well. And there is a before and an after. So if you find that you're often doing the same type of adjustment with any mask in Lightroom Classic, create a preset for it, and that will save you a little bit of time. And that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.